Okay, so here we are, Fort Myers Beach. Uh, an another really good example um, of something that happens out in the natural world that we see locked in rocks. And if I if I lean down here, you can sort of see this water. Uh, it's just sort of gently um, sitting here or flowing from left to right. But the wind is blowing just across the top of this really shallow water. You can see how shallow it is. I was just walking through it. Stop right there. Stop, Rube. And if I walk over here, we'll see that those ripples that are um, on the surface of the water are actually transmitted down into the water. And you can actually see these ripples in the water itself, or in the sand itself. And that those ripples in the sand can get locked in the rock. If this, this sand gets uh, lithified, compressed, not compressed necessarily, but cemented together, um, all these little ripples will be locked or fossilized in the rock. And what that does is it, it gives us a lot of evidence as to what's happening out in the place where these rocks are formed. So if we see ripples like this, the only place they form is in really shallow, very shallow water, uh, near the coast or right along the, the seashore in a very shallow part of the sea. And um, if we find that, in the rocks, then we know that those rocks had to be in shallow water. They couldn't have been in deep water when they were formed. So it helps to tell us a lot about um, how these rocks form and, and where they form. So it's just a, a good way to, to show you an example of a sample that we have in the lab and I'll show it to you um, with this video so you can kind of see the connection between something that we see every day um, in the natural world. You walk by it, you might not even notice it, and something that um, we have fossilized uh, that might be millions of years old.